ethnopolis in this country. Number two, the ministry uh, of ICT was in the process of uh, processing a similar bid. So when it came here, I rejected that bill for that good reason. But this senator went on social media and labeled us as a community that is trying to fight her. Because my good senator neighbor Kalwale opposed it. My good senator for Bungoma Wakoli opposed it. Just because we share the same tribe, she went and blackmailed us on social media that we voted against the bill because we are lawyers. I voted against the bill, Mr. Speaker, because of the reasons I've stated. Mr. Speaker, we have also seen the kind of decorum that this senator has subjected our good clerk, Nyegenye, to. Nyegenye is one of the long-serving employees of parliament, Mr. Speaker. And I served in the National Assembly. And I worked very closely with Nyegenye. I know he's a very professional employee, very respectful. But now this senator comes up with allegations against the clerk, and the clerk has no voice. The clerk is supposed to keep quiet. Nyegenye deserves respect. Nyegenye deserves justice. And the justice is for us to pass this motion. Mr. Speaker, I support this motion because we must stop this kind of decorum in this house. We must bring back the respect of this house. We must also protect the staffers of parliament. These are professionals. These are not people who are in politics like us that we subject them to social media they have no avenue to defend themselves and then you use the privileges of this house to come and fight these innocent staffers. I want to say that uh, I will stand firm to support this motion even though some of us would be having alternative views. But even if you have alternative view, think about the Senate. Where are we heading to? For how long are we going to allow this kind of decorum in this house? And we have seen many other things in this Senate. Sometimes you sit here and you get shocked how some of our colleagues be behave. Mr. Speaker, I want to encourage members to support this motion so that it can serve as a lesson to those who want to do the same. Mr. Speaker, I served with you in the National Assembly. And we had similar cases. We had a case involving Babo Wino. There was no problem. We discussed it. And Babo Wino apologized to the House. And the matter ended there. We had a case on Didmas Baraza. The Honorable Member claimed that we were receiving money in the toilet, sugar money. And he could not prove it. And when he went to the Powers and Privilege Committee, they found out that he had a case to answer. The matter was discussed in the House, and the House agreed, and the Honorable Baraza apologized to the House. There is no problem in us discussing this senator. All we want to from her is for her to come and apologize to the house, apologize to an innocent clerk that he blackmailed in social media and we will consider to accept the apology and we move on. But we cannot stop discussing the conduct of a member just because we fear uh, some uh, uh, some issues. 
we will discuss and I encourage members to discuss this motion soberly and pass it so that we establish a, a precedent that members in this house will follow and will ensure that this Senate adheres to the established norms, cultures of parliament across the world. Mr. Speaker, I support. Senator Karen Nyamu. Um, Mr. Speaker, thank you for giving me this opportunity.